Viewer discretion is advised. I was never a fan of found footage tapes. You know the kind. Typically a VHS or some handheld device that is supposedly found showing really disturbing stuff. Well, lucky me when my friend got his hands on one such VHS tape. And despite my refusal at watching such an obviously fake recording, he offered to pay for pizza if I watched it. I took the deal. Once we had our food, we sat down in front of the TV, inserted the tape, and what followed was probably the eeriest experience of my life. The tape opened up with some sort of game show-like stage with a well-dressed man greeting the audience. As he was in the middle of describing the game to three contestants on stage, the camera suddenly jolted to the side. Instead of focusing on the contestants, the camera was focused on some masked entity hiding behind some decorated flowers. This entity had a cartoonish rabbit mask and slowly slid into the darkness backstage as it looked at the cameraman. My friend and I sat up straight and put our slices down, afraid to say anything as we were watching the screen. As the game show continued, the camera jolted again to the side and showed us that same mask entity peering out from backstage again. However, it pointed at the contestant this time, causing him to gasp and the camera to shake. Fearful of this, the cameraman took the camera off the tripod and ran with it as he tried to run out of the building. Why he took the camera, we didn't know or really care. What we did care about was how the masked entity darted out from a hallway, tackled the contestant who was screaming, and the screen cut to black. I felt a chill down my spine. It was supposed to be a game show, but this seemed too real. I was expecting some fake supernatural monsters or cheaply made staged stunt, but that looks more like a snuff film to me. My friend pulled the tape out of the VHS player and stared at it. I could tell he was in shock too. Guess you better return the tape. Looks like something that could get us into trouble. He remained silent for a moment. He was beginning to look pale too. After a while, he turned to me and said, one of the contestant is my uncle. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Safe Class Object SCP-3139. SCP-3139, also known as America's Labyrinth, refers to a plain VHS tape from the unknown company Kipper Media Incorporated. The tape itself has no anomalous abilities and can be handled without any danger to the holder. It functions the same as a normal VHS tape would and can be converted to other digital media formats. It should be noted that while the footage on the tape is anomalous when played, it becomes non-anomalous when played in other media. Finally, the footage on the tape cannot be recorded over through unknown means. SCP-3139-1 is the footage itself, nearly an hour long in length. The cameraman is believed to use a handheld camera and in some instances a tripod. The footage details an unknown game show called America's Labyrinth. However, no evidence of the existence of the show has been found by the Foundation. A host will come on stage and explain the game to the audience and contestants as he tells jokes. Whenever the tape is played, a new iteration will take its place, becoming slightly different. The host, the set, the building, and the existence of an unknown entity stalking the cameraman exist within each iteration. The unknown entity, designated as SCP-3139-A, will stalk SCP-3139-B, the contestant who operates their own camera. It will pursue the holder of the camera, often seen watching them from behind set pieces. After a few viewings, Foundation researchers realize that the cameraman's identity changes with each iteration, ranging from men to women and from an adult to a child. SCP-3139-A is the entity that stalks the holder of the camera. Its general appearance is that of a tall, Caucasian man wearing black clothing and a rabbit mask. The host will sometimes refer to this entity, calling it Chompers. The host is not fearful of Chompers and even speaks about it in a friendly manner. Attempts by 3139-B to remove the mask will cause Chompers to retreat and yell in pain as it covers its face. If 3139-B is caught by 3139-A, the tape will immediately cut to black. From there, the host will talk about the game show to the audience, and the tape will end shortly after. If 3139-B can escape the building, they will teleport on stage next to the host. The host will then congratulate them on winning and give them a prize. Those that have seen the footage feel sick and even fearful. 
yet researchers believe that this is simply due to the eeriness of the tape itself and not an anomalous effect, nor is it a cognitive hazard. The audience and the host will loudly applaud Chompers should he catch the holder of the camera. However, should he fail, he will be met with boos and even death threats. Something most curious that was noticed by a researcher was that Chompers ages in real time. From the time of 3139's discovery, Chompers has seemingly aged the same corresponding years. Investigations are still ongoing to research more on this fact. 3139-B, or the camera holder, has been determined to be someone to those that view 3139-1. This in turn means that those who view the tape are safe from becoming a victim of it. A viewer's sibling, mother, father, cousin, and even children can become 3139-B. Typically, a family member is chosen since they are the favorite relative of the viewer. And should the iteration of 3139-B be a child, they will be artificially aged up to that of a young adult. While not common, the host and audience will sometimes refer to 3139-B victims by their full names. It is apparent that the game show itself, the contestants on stage, none of that matters. What matters is that 3139-B is chased by 3139-A and summarily captured or manages to escape. Escape proves difficult as the building they are in is a massive and similar to a maze. Compounding that with 3139-A constantly chasing them, there is little hope of making it out. On the off chance a victim manages to escape, they have no memory of the event at all and no further anomalous effects manifest. Individuals depicted the contestant in 3139-1 claim they have no knowledge of participating in the show or the existence of 3139 when interviewed. However, when asked to view the recording, they will vehemently refuse, often with extreme levels of aggression or panic. When provided with photographic evidence of their participation in the recording, they will continue to issue denials, often accusing the individual providing them with the evidence of photo manipulation or attempting a prank. Despite this, all who have managed to escape express intense fear when asked to watch 3139-1 all without knowing why. As for those that do not escape, they will become completely erased from our reality. Their families will have no photos or records of any kind of their existence. Disturbingly, identified victims that failed to escape have been seen in the audience cheering and enjoying the game show. But if a family member views the tape, they become agitated and panicked, oftentimes pleading for help as they stare directly into the camera held by 3139-B. Most disheartening is that some family members have said that some audience members look like they could be related to them. Researchers believe these audience members to be unborn children of the viewer, aged up. This hypothesis has some basis as all family viewers are apparently incapable of having children despite no issues of fertility. As of the latest viewing, the audience consists of 57 individuals, which have been described by the viewers as having physical similarities that resemble their parents or relatives. The following is the transcript of a recording of 3139-1, as viewed by a D-Class subject, D-616. The victim has been identified as a relative of D-616. The camera begins by panning over the meager audience members loudly cheering and clapping as the host runs out from among the audience and onto the stage. He greets everyone with a charming smile and a deep, gravelly voice. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cable's number one game show, America's Labyrinth. Last time, our contestant was not so lucky. This time though, I have a good feeling about this one. So now, ladies and gents, give a round of applause to our newest one from California. Then the screen cuts to that of a handheld camera inside a maze-like concrete structure. Loud breathing is audible behind the camera held by the contestant. The contestant is an old man who appears to be around 70 years of age. The host looks on happily as the camera focuses on the old man's face with a confused and panicked look. The tape then cuts to the old man's point of view as he frantically runs through the maze-like building, breathing heavily. As he runs, the host and the audience can be heard jeering and laughing off screen. Come on, slowpoke! Need a wheelchair to carry your geriatric self? <laughs> the audience then laughs, claps and cheers. The victim is then startled by Chompers as he charges from a nearby hallway toward the man. Screaming for help, the old man runs in the opposite direction as the audience continues to laugh. The man eventually finds a row of doors along a hallway and manages to find an unlocked one. He shoved himself inside and locked the door. 
Chompers is heard running down the hallway until his footsteps fade away, causing the audience to groan in frustration. Nearly a half hour later, the man finally leaves the room and quietly walks around the hallway, afraid to be too loud. Well, I'll be damned, folks. Look at him. The oldest contestant we've had to date, and he's lasted much longer than the younger ones. Look at that swagger in those steps. Makes him look 10 years younger now, doesn't it? Give him a round of applause. The audience claps excitedly as they continue to watch the man cautiously move through the halls, shivering in fear. After a minute, he comes across another row of doors and stops when he hears movement coming from one of them. With ease, Chompers kicks down the door and sprints toward the old man as it lets out a piercing shriek. The old man, startled, drops the camera and runs, but is apparently caught as loud banging sounds are heard. Then the footage cuts to the host staring at the camera for seven minutes straight, unmoving, unblinking in utter silence. And so we have claimed another, another prey. You are truly delicious, absolutely delicious. The audience burst into cheers and laughter once more before the tape cuts.